Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it is where you're in the world right now. I wanted to make this video for all lazy people like myself out there who want to make a really quick, really easy soup with pumpkin, if you have any pumpkin left over, like I um, do here, with carrots and zucchini, maybe cauliflower. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the cauliflower, we're gonna see as we go and a couple of onions that are have already gone bad <laughs> most of my vegetables i've cleaned because they've already gone bad but if you have vegetables that are fresh you could use them as i have explained in previous videos i typically buy vegetables that are are going to be thrown away just to repurpose because they have the same nutritional value but they're about to be thrown away just for the way they look for example, this carrot looks kind of funky and they were going to throw it away. But if you cut this carrot, you're going to see that it's perfectly fine. <laughs> this is a perfectly fine carrot that you can use while cooking. Maybe not eat it as a snack, but you can definitely cook with it. And I've already cleaned it with a, the abrasive side of the sponge. Um, and we're ready to boil. So I'm calling this a super lazy soup because... I'm not going to saute anything, I'm just going to cut them in chunks. So literally, I'm, I'm going to cut my vegetables in whatever chunks I want. Just so that it boils faster and we don't have to spend a lot of time waiting for it to boil. When you cut vegetables in small pieces, there is more surface surrounding them. For example, if you took this onion, this entire half of an onion, to boil in the water and you put it in the water and wait for it to boil, it would take longer to boil than this piece would because it has more surface surrounding it and it's a thinner piece so it will take less time to boil. So typically we cut vegetables in smaller pieces because you're going to waste less energy to boil them. So less electricity is being used, it's better for the planet and it's just an added more than two minutes step to cut the vegetables in, in chunks. These are organic uh, carrots, by the way, so organic carrots were going to be thrown away. This is a crime. <laughs> I, I don't think that this is normal, but you know, everybody does this. Every market does this. Every person whose vegetables are starting to look a bit funky just throws them away instead of making a soup or a sauce. These bits were also moldy. Not moldy, they were... Yeah, moldy, they were moldy. And I just... I, you removed the upper surface, pretty much. There's no mold inside the zucchini. So why would... Why is this normal? Like, this would be thrown away. I, uh, it is beyond me. Uh, zucchini is a very soft vegetable, so it typically takes much less time to cook than the rest of the vegetables. Hence, I'm cooking it um, along with the rest of the vegetables, but in bigger chunks. So the rest of them are cut in smaller chunks. But since I am lazy, as I said, I don't feel like adding the zucchini in a second time frame, coming back to the pot and add the zucchini. I cut them in bigger chunks, so they cook the same amount of time, but this is gonna be bigger. Um, the carrot, which is a harder vegetable, is going to be a smaller piece. And I think I might add like a bit of this cauliflower. Not that it has gone bad, but I like the creaminess of the cauliflower. Maybe I put all of it. Yeah, I'll put all of it. Again, I'm cutting in a big chunks because cauliflower is like zucchini. It takes less time to boil than the rest of the vegetables I'm putting in there. And I'm gonna cut the pumpkin in slices, I think. This, to my experience, makes it easier to cook in a pot. Pumpkin is a hard vegetable. Um, so the peeling process typically takes me more time than the cutting process because the skin of the pumpkin is firmly attached to its surface. Oh, such a lovely colour. Mm. 
one love pumpkins. I get really depressed in the winter when pumpkin spice latte goes out of uh, season. I think the only reason why I cut them is because pumpkin spice lattes. I love the smell, the taste of pumpkins. And I haven't found the seasoning that is as good as the Starbucks one. So this is it. This is about a full pot of vegetables that haven't been cooked and to which I haven't added salt yet, look like. I'm going to add one full tablespoon of salt in here for now, just to make sure uh, they lose some of the water and add one cup of water for now. And we're gonna see according to the freshness level, how much of their volume they lose and how much of their water they lose. Because some of them said more water, they release more liquid into the pot, so you don't need to add more water. So I'm gonna tell you how much they've released. So let's do about one cup of water for now and add the water in here. And one full tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna measure it, which is not something I typically do. Because as you get more confident around the kitchen, you learn how to season your things without measuring them. But for now, let's measure it because I know that most of you guys that watch my videos have no idea how to cook or season things. So this is one full tablespoon of salt and one cup of water. And I'm just going to mix them roughly, just so the salt goes underneath the, the vegetables. They, I'm going to mix them up again when they start softening up, but for now I'm just going to roughly mix them up. Because you see like this big chunk of salt is up here, so it won't help the onions that are on the bottom that I've put on first. And turn on the burner. And just on a side note, since we're going to pretty much steam the vegetables at this point, we want to cover them up. I'm not going to put any of the sweeter seasoning here, like I'm going to do the cinnamon, uh, turmeric, uh, honey probably. I'm just going to keep it as it is, so that you can see how you could just omit that part and keep the pumpkin soup as it is with its natural flavoring. We're gonna cook it in the two thirds of the capacity of the electric burner. Um, maybe for about 20 minutes for now. So you could just let it be for 20 minutes if you, like myself, used a lot of vegetables. If you use less vegetables, obviously it's going to cook in a less amount of time. So. Um, I put quite a lot of them in here, so I think about 20 minutes is sufficient amount of time for me to come back and see how they've softened up. So I see you guys in 20 minutes, or just a second. So it has been 20 minutes, and as you see, there's so much water in here already. So we didn't need to add more. I'm going to mix it up a bit. I don't mind it being broken up. I think it's time for me to season it 